Anthony, uh, congratulations to you. I guess how happy are you to get a deal done and how much maybe uh, full famil familiarity help you going into, I guess, year four with the Titans? Yeah, I was I was really excited to finalize a deal with the Titans. And um, yeah, just after going back and forth in negotiations, but it's just exciting stuff and really happy to be back kind of with the same organization and I mean, good to see Todd Downing get promoted to the offensive coordinator, just being a former tight ends coach. So um, I know he did a great job in our room. So I'm just excited to see how he can help this offense and build on what Arthur has provided for the Titans. And just following up on that, I mean, what, what are some of the strengths of Todd and, and, and what will he maybe bring to the team as the OC now? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, he's a very detail-oriented guy, um, and he does a great job teaching us and coaching us and making slight improvements on every, um, on all plays and throughout the game. So, I mean, I know he's going to, um, has experience from the offensive coordinator job in his prior years, and yeah, I'm just excited to see kind of how it progresses with the Titans. Uh, Terry? Anthony, when you think back three or four years ago when you were bouncing around on practice squads and you got here for camp, uh, did you have any other fallback plans lined up and what were those and, and, how, and how excited are you that you've reached this moment after going through whatever you went through? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in the beginning, I didn't have, didn't have any direct job offers, but definitely had some internships and other alumni connections through Harvard and stuff like that, where I was looking kind of in my first year when I was home, just going to workouts. Um, yeah. Where I was ready to kind of fill in if I had to, if something didn't work out, but yeah, it's been super grateful for the opportunities I've been given by the Titans, especially and being able to yeah, just keep progressing and finding a role and finding value in an organization. And it's been, it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, John Bunn. Anthony, congratulations. Um, with uh, John who, uh, moving on, um, represents a lot of, you know, receptions and, and yardage and touchdowns and so forth. Uh, how do you expect your role to change uh, going ahead to next year, you know, with, uh, with no John who there? Yeah, I mean, he was a huge part of our offense and put it, very important role just in everything we did run game pass game and yeah it's going to be difficult to fulfill those um the jobs he did and but yeah we're gonna as a tight end room we're gonna just embrace everything that he did and um yeah just keep keep improving and do the best thing best that we can do in our position our roles and take what the coaches give us and yeah wherever they see best fit and one more for you. Um, I know, obviously, through your career, you've, you've been used much more in, in passing situations than running. I, I wonder how you rate yourself as a as a blocker. Maybe how you've improved in that, and do you think you still need to improve in order to see a you know a, a larger chunk of, of time um, on the field? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely keep improving my blocking, and I know it's something I've been working on all through coming into the NFL. Um, but yeah, I mean, all the past coaches and previous veterans I've been around, I uh, spent time with and just learning from them and just continue to kind of build my game and seeing how important it is to be a dual threat tight end. And yeah, that's something I'm going to keep hoping I can progress in and add value in both areas to the Titans. Thanks. Uh, Buck? Hey, Anthony, congrats. Um, how, how has Todd kind of helped you uh, start to develop your skills as as what you're talking about there a, a dual threat tight end what what kind of tips has he given you through the coaching and, and how have you seen that kind of bear out for in your success on the field yeah I mean I just seen how we, how he's worked with guys in our room and how he's worked with me specifically just with my body type and making sure I can use my speed and quickness and lower center of gravity and leverage just to make sure I can get movement on DNs when I'm blocking and just making sure I'm aggressive and good technique is just something that he really stressed when we were watching film and everything. So yeah, just hoping I can progress that and keep learning. Uh, David Buckler. 
Anthony, you, you talked about earlier in your career and, you know, job connections, that sort of thing. Is, is it ever surprising to you that, that you've, you've stuck around in the NFL this long and, and have created the career for yourself that you have? Yeah, I think, I don't know, when I look back, just coming out of Harvard and I don't know, yeah, this wasn't exactly kind of the, yeah, future I was looking at from Harvard. So, yeah, yeah I'm definitely, I mean, sometimes I look back and I'm, yeah, surprised about how I've gotten this many opportunities and stuff. But, yeah, I felt like I've done my best to prove myself and show that I can hang with the guys at this level and continue to keep, yeah, doing whatever I can to add value. Uh, Tara? Yeah, Anthony, uh, having to possibly move into more of a role in line, what, what would you say are, are some of the, the obstacles that you may face and have to overcome, you know, bumping into a, a guy has to put his hand in the dirt at the end of the line of scrimmage? Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, that's just something that I got to keep working on. I've been working on just having as many opportunities. So, yeah, I mean, I think just using just quickness and technique and using hand placement and yeah, just as much as I can keep working that in this off season and going into preseason and camp is just something I'm going to stress just so I can make sure that that's a dependable and reliable position that I can be in for the Titans. And then one of the things that, that John o. Smith did last season, he off season, rather, he, he worked with Tannehill, you know, during the off season, that's something that, that you plan to do just to further develop the, the chemistry and relationship you have. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's something I'm planning on doing, right, as I sign back with the Titans. I think it's important that I go spend some time and work on connection and mechanics with Tannehill just so we have that, yeah, we can build that into the season and keep building off last year. Uh, Paul? Hey, Anthony, do you have the sense that an expanded role is, is yours to be had? going forward or do you anticipate uh, somebody else joining the room in a, in a John U style role? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's something for the coaches and the organization to figure out. Um, yeah. I'm going to do whatever I can to be as valuable as I can to the Titans and wherever they see fit, wherever they need me, I'm going to be there and apply the most value as I can to that position. Uh, Gentry. Yeah, Anthony, did you um, did you have a pretty good sense all along that you would be back again uh, with the Titans this year? Or I guess when did you, you know, really uh, know that was going to be the case? Yeah, I think being a restricted free agent, I always felt like they had the they had the option to tender me, and I don't know, just from hearing from guys around the league and a couple guys, my agent as well. Just yeah, I felt like that most likely I would have an opportunity to be back with the Titans. And after the talks with my agent and negotiations, um, it definitely felt like the best opportunity for myself and the organization. And I was excited to be back and come back for another year. Yeah. With the way that Arthur would use so many tight ends in his system, are you expecting more of the same given that, you know, you're, you're promoting not only from within the staff, but, but another tight ends coach to that role? Yeah, um, I assume so. I mean, yeah, I don't know exactly what Todd's plan is, but um, yeah, I mean, I know Arthur and Todd worked a lot together and agreed on a lot of things. So yeah, I think from what I've seen, I expect kind of the similar type of play con and types of personnel. Uh, Luke? Anthony, you played a big role last year on third downs in particular. What do you think allowed you to be so successful getting open in those key situations and, and being able to move the chains? Yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with, um, I mean, Todd Downing spent a lot of time um, with me going through extra film with, um, yeah, just working on third down plans and we'd go through our um, our players we were running and then see how they match up against the defenses they were running. And he really did a great job preparing me for what I would see on the field. And I think having that type of knowledge going into the game just gave me confidence and um, the ability to kind of be where I need to be for Ryan and just develop that uh, dependability in the quarterback as well. And what do you think are the biggest strengths of, of the duo of you and Jeff Swain? 
Yeah, I think we both, yeah, very kind of unique skill sets and different um, different play strength and play styles. And I think they can really benefit and play off each other and just have good mis mismatches for the defenses. And, yeah, 